Jet lag happens when you travel quickly across time zones and your body's natural rhythm gets thrown out of sync. While it usually only lasts a day or so, it can really put a damper on your travels. Give it enough time and your body will naturally adjust to the new time zone. But to hasten the process, there are a few things you can try. Vucation presents how to get over jet lag immediately. Is jet lag even real? Some of you who have never experienced jet lag before might be thinking some people are merely exaggerating their symptoms. A few might be questioning whether the condition is even legit. First things first, yes, it's real. It happens when your usual circadian rhythms get thrown for a loop when you travel to a new time zone. Crossing one or two zones might result in little to no symptoms, but if you're traveling somewhere halfway across the globe, you're certain to feel a little off while getting used to your new locale. Your circadian rhythm is like your body's natural internal clock. Your body uses this rhythm to regulate your sleep and wake times. If your internal clock gets jostled by switching time zones quickly and experiencing drastic changes to the amount of light you're exposed to at various hours of the day, you might also experience changes to your body temperature, mood, and hormones. Symptoms of jet lag can include fatigue, insomnia, headache, difficulty concentrating, brain fog, gastrointestinal distress, and lack of appetite. Jet lag is also known to be worse when you travel west to east. You also might be more susceptible to jet lag if you're older or travel frequently. Adapting quickly to your new time zone When your plane touches down and you arrive at your destination, try your best to forget your old time zone as fast as possible. Devices such as your phone, tablet, or laptop will usually auto-update their clocks, but if for some reason you have that feature turned off, set the new time manually. One thing you can do to adapt to your new time zone quicker is set the time on your devices to the new time zone as soon as you depart. That'll give you a bit longer to adjust to the change and start mentally preparing yourself. You'll likely have trouble at your destination if you keep sleeping and eating according to the schedule you kept in your old time zone. To circumvent this, eat meals and go to bed according to the time in your new time zone. Managing sleep is key. While flying to your destination, your flight may very well still be in the air during your destination's night. If you try to get a few hours of shut-eye, you'll find it's much easier to transition to the new time when you arrive. A few things that could help you get some sleep on your plane include white noise generators or apps, noise-canceling headphones, eye masks, travel pillows, earplugs, blankets, or over-the-counter sleep aids. When you arrive, if it's daytime, you should fight the urge to take a nap. Because if you touch down during the day and check into your hotel and immediately hit the hay, it'll only make it that much more difficult to sleep later on when the sun sets. Drink plenty of water. Long distance flights often cause dehydration. Frequent travelers reduce their water consumption so they can avoid awkward trips to the tiny onboard bathrooms. While this might seem like a good idea in the short term, you should reconsider. Being properly hydrated can ease travel fatigue and jet lag symptoms. When passing through airport security, bring an empty bottle of water. Once you've made it to the terminal, fill it up and start sipping. Alternatively, you can buy water in the terminal or request it from your flight attendant. Just remember to keep drinking plenty of water upon arrival. Light is your friend. Jet lag symptoms occur largely because your exposure to sunlight changes when you travel through time zones. If you get outside and soak up some sunlight, you can wake up your body and help reduce its release of melatonin. When it's dark, your body produces the hormone and causes you to get sleepy. Essentially, you can hack this process just by regulating how much light you're exposed to. By going outside and exposing yourself to good old-fashioned sunlight, you'll be helping yourself if you need to wake up and function at your peak earlier when you travel eastward. By getting more light exposure in the evening hours and staying up later on the night before your flight, it'll also be easier to transition later when you're in your new time zone after traveling west. Some travelers swear by using special happy lamps that simulate sunlight. By tricking your brain into thinking it's experiencing sunlight, you can theoretically wean yourself into a new schedule quicker than just allowing it to happen organically. You might find these lamps advertised online or some specialty retailers. Drink a caffeinated beverage. While consuming coffee, tea, or an energy drink won't cure your jet lag, it may be a useful tool to help you stay focused and alert during the daytime. In one study, it was found that 300 milligrams of extended-release caffeine enhanced alertness in travelers headed east. While caffeinated beverages might give you the pep you need to keep you on your toes, be aware of other substances in those drinks, like sugar, before drinking them. If you use caffeine to combat symptoms of jet lag, moderate or eliminate your intake in the afternoon and evening hours. Otherwise, you might be giving yourself a nasty case of caffeine-induced insomnia. Make sure your sleep space is cozy. 
One of the best ways to facilitate proper sleep in your travels is to ensure your sleeping arrangements are comfortable. In your room, make sure the thermostat is set to a temperature you're used to. It's been proven that by keeping the room cool, you'll be more likely to fall asleep and enter a REM cycle quicker. It's also a good idea to put your phone on silent and make sure no other device or clock in your room is going to beep or make noise while you're sleeping. You can even ask the hotel front desk attendant to have inbound calls routed to a phone service instead. When packing, make sure you bring all the creature comforts you need, within reason, to ensure you're cozy at your destination. If you sleep with a fan or a white noise machine, try to find something packable that serves the same function. There are a number of apps available that simulate various fan noises or produce a wide range of white noise frequencies. If you think it'll help you get rest, bring other lightweight comforts like a favorite blanket, familiar scented candle or lotion, or a family photo to help you drift off. Melatonin Helps your body naturally produces and releases melatonin at regular intervals synchronized to your internal clock to induce sleepiness. But for those who experience occasional insomnia or jet lag, it also comes in a pill, tablet, or gummy form as a supplement. If you're having trouble adjusting to your new schedule, consider trying 3-5 to five milligrams of melatonin to help your body get sleepy when jet lagged. This is not only helpful at night if your body isn't ready for sleep, but it can also come in handy if you've traveled west and you're trying to continue sleeping in the early hours of the morning. Be advised, however, since melatonin is a supplement, it isn't regulated by the FDA. When taking any supplement, use caution, and if you have questions or concerns, consult your healthcare provider. Bucation in no way is qualified to provide medical advice. Try sleep aids. Many over-the-counter sleep aids can be useful when you're having trouble getting sleepy or staying asleep. But once again, talk to your doctor about whether sleep aids may be appropriate to use to combat your jet-lagged-induced symptoms. Other treatments. Fortunately, jet lag isn't a permanent ailment. If all these suggestions don't seem to be working, you may just need to give it time. If you're feeling a little impatient, however, you can always try to treat it with things like meditation, yoga, breathwork exercises, herbal remedies, or even hypnosis. If your jet lag symptoms persist for more than a week, this could be a sign of another underlying condition. If you experience this, consult your doctor as soon as possible. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have any tips or tricks to help reduce jet lag symptoms? Let us know in the comments section below.